G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Today we're going to continue our look at blood vessels. In particular today we're going to be looking at muscular arteries and veins. Uh, so we're using this section, no it's not a grumpy sad face, <laughs> it looks a little bit like a sad face, um, but we've got a couple of uh, muscular arteries here in a vein, another vein and a little muscular artery. So we'll talk about that in the next three minutes. Okay, so let's start our three minutes. Okay, so we've already looked at the elastic arteries. We know that the tunica media is the, the major component of the wall of the elastic arteries. Muscular arteries are much the same, with the exception being that there's less elastic lamellae and more smooth muscle cells. And one of the really characteristic features of a muscular artery is its tunica intima. Now this is using a trichrome, uh, again, beg your pardon, it's an Aussian stain, so we've highlighted elastic fibers. Uh, this is the tunica intima with a simple squamous lining and this brown layer here this is uh, a single elastic lamellae or um, lamina and this is known as the internal elastic lame lamella or internal elastic lamellae um, it's actually really characteristic of um, muscular arteries and it often produces this sort of waviness to the tunica intima which is really characteristic of a muscular artery. So if you can see this waviness you're pretty much assured that you're looking at uh, a section of a muscular artery. Now here um, we can see little squiggles of some elastic fibers uh, in the tunica media. This is the tunica media here but mostly the wall is made up of smooth muscle and then out here we've got the uh, tunica adventitia made up of uh, connective tissue here, dense irregular connective tissue. If we sort of zoom out, we can see a real characteristic feature of um, arteries is that it's typically regular in appearance and shape. It's got a very thick wall with a very thick tunica media. If we go out here to the vein, uh, we can actually see it's very irregular in shape. There's not a lot of uh, thickness to its wall. Uh, we zoom in a little bit. We can see this sort of um, irregularly dispersed smooth muscle here. Um, there's not that internal elastic lamellae like we saw with the muscular artery. And the other feature uh, which is present here, which isn't present in the arteries, of course, are these valves. These are a couple of leaflets of these valves which are extensions of the tunica intima. And the valves help to break up the blood into smaller compartments, which makes it a little bit easier to move. Rather than moving one big long tube of blood, it helps to break it up into smaller compartments, which then makes them a little bit easier to move. So this is a vein, um, so you can see the, the valve leaflets here, and in this one up here, I think we can see another couple of um, uh, valve leaflets over here. And even here, look we can actually see these little extensions of these leaflets. So another vein here. It's really amazing when you sort of start seeing them, you, you begin to pick them out um, amongst other parts of the tissue as well. Again, we've got our little muscular artery with our really nicely defined internal elastic lamellae. Uh, here's our thick muscular wall, the muscular artery and our adventitia. And of course, we've got some blood cells there. Anyway, I thought that was a really nice overview of uh, the differences between uh, arteries and veins, uh, and hopefully you found that useful. We'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!